goodness, I am so late getting this video up, but I did want to share with you what I've been loving in the month of September. And I got a rogue hair here on me somewhere. And I wanted to share with you a lot of new skincare that I've been trying. Now, I want to disclaimer before we get started that this is my job, this is my career, this is what I've chosen to do to make my own business. And I put a lot of time, energy, and funds into trying to find the very best. So if I come on here and one week I'm telling you that something is wonderful, it doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like that thing anymore. It means that there might be something out on the market that I needed to test. We as YouTubers, as beauty influencers, we test a ton of stuff as we go along. And that's why we're always trying to bring you the latest and greatest plus technology changes. And so that's really important for me to say to you today because I have a whole bunch of skincare that I have kind of fallen down a rabbit hole here and found a bunch of really good new Korean skincare that I'm super excited about, but it doesn't mean that my other skincare is not in my regimen anymore. So I'm gonna bring to you in the next month probably my morning and my evening skincare routine so that you can see that. And a couple other things. I also wanted to address that I am going to do an update on my life and everything that's happened to me in the past year. And I know you've all been anxiously waiting for that. I've just had a real lot of anxiety myself trying to get up the courage or the gumption or whatever you want to call it to actually go ahead and film that video because I'm going to be pretty vulnerable in it. Um, there's been a lot that's gone down and I apologize for that, but it will be coming very soon. I have a numbering system. As the products go up, you'll see a number come on this the screen and I attach that number to the product and then down in the description box below, I put the link next to it. You can shop that way if you want to. I usually show what I have on for clothing and different things like that. Today, I'm going to push that towards the end of the video, even though I will be doing a little bit of fashion in between. First, I wanna talk about this AHA, BHA, PHA, 30 Days Miracle Toner it has all of those acids in it, but it also has 2% niacinamide, which is brightening. Now, what I have found with this, it says non-common, I can never say that, non-comedogenic, tested skin exfoliating ingredients dual function cosmetic low ph toner okay so what i found with this is my skin gets super soft and super hydrated and it is very very gently turning my skin over as i get older and i'm i've gone through menopause now and i just feel like my skin is so sensitive so i actually stopped using any sort of really heavy duty chemical exfoliant but this one is so nice that i can use it three days a week in the morning before i start any of my other skincare and it just makes my skin so soft and i am noticing that beautiful tur turnover that we want to get rid of our old skin and then push that new pretty skin up to the surface so really really enjoying this one also naturium that is a company that i've shown you many times that this is a retinaldehyde that they have. Now, I have been using the 0.05%, and when I went back to purchase this one, I found the 0.1%, which is a double the strength, basically. Now, retinaldehyde is better than retinol because it is one step closer to the conversion process of actually being just vitamin A or tretinoin, like you buy with the prescription. So this is actually better than any retinol that you could use. It does not irritate my skin. I had to stop using tretinoin a couple years ago because of the sensitivity of my skin. Now I'm using this and I am in love with it. But this is just a beautiful cream. It sinks in so, so quickly. And this is not super expensive. As a matter of fact, it's darn inexpensive compared to a lot of effective retinaldehydes that you find on the market. And then so another one that I'm absolutely in love with that I actually use in conjunction with this, and you're gonna you know, come after me, but hear me out. If you have been out there looking at all the different retinols and retinaldehydes, a lot of them are pairing a vitamin C or ascorbic acid and vitamin E with ferulic acid into their retinols. That's because those are all vitamins and they all work synergistically. Now, there will be a lot of people that come on here and say, you cannot use vitamin C with retinols. 
that's not true. They really do boost the efficacy of each other. Now, you don't have to use this at night if you don't want to. You can use it in the, in the daytime. That's where most people put their vitamin C serums. I personally put just a little bit in with that retinaldehyde that I've been using, and I just am seeing fantastic results. And so I love this one from Nectarium. Again, this is their super, this is their vitamin C super serum. So it has vitamin C, vitamin A, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. Now, what's interesting is that it's got acids in it. Have we we've been told over and over again, don't put retinols with acids in them or vitamin C, it's all too harsh. That's not the case. They they boost each other up. Now, if you're going to use something like this toner, then I would say go ahead and use the toner wait 10 minutes and go on with your morning skincare routine. That's what I do. And I do use this vitamin C in the morning as well. But I do put a couple of drops of this in with my retinaldehyde at night. So definitely these are really good products from Naturium, especially this vitamin C. I love how loaded it is with good ingredients. I also have another one, actually I have two, that I'm so excited to bring to you for underneath your eyes. Have you all heard about snail mucin, the COSRX snail mucin that everybody is flipping their lids about? Okay, this one is from Benton. Benton has this that is, a, it's called Snail Bee Ultimate Eye Cream. They have this and they do have an, an essence as well, like the COSRX, but it also has bee venom in it. And bee venom along with snail mucin, mucin are super hydrators and so this is what i use after i use a treatment like this this is alpha skin cares this is their 15 percent uh, alpha hydroxy acid i use just a tiny bit of this up underneath my eyes this works so well as an exfoliator because again this is super gentle and you don't want to use this every day obviously start with once a week and then build up what is great about it is it does slough that skin very very gently and then you can go in and put your moisturizers on these are great i've been using them together and i do feel like my under eyes have just done a great things the other thing you all know that i swear by the suko yakasuhata eye cream that is still in my regimen and that will never go away. I think that is the best hydrator for dry under eyes. I have very, very dry under eyes. My whole eye area is extremely dry. So I have to be really careful and use as much moisture as I can. And these products all deliver that moisture, the turnover of the skin and helping the new skin to show through so that the wrinkles don't show through so much. Now, if you've been with me for very long, I talk about the benefits of bifida. And bifida is the main ingredient that you can get in Lancome Genifique and Estee Lauder Night Repair. That's why everybody touts that they are so effective and they feel like it's worth the $105, $110 price tag that they put on there. Bifida is a fermentation process, so it's been known in Asian countries as beautiful, effective skincare, and they've been using it forever. This one is called Mei Nyo, and it's a Bifida Ampule Mist. It's Barrier Intensive Skin Mist. It says, we begin with our aim to better your life. Now, this is very, very loaded with bifida. It has that ingredient as almost the highest ingredient there. Now, when you get on these and you, you're looking for ingredient decks, sometimes they have them on Amazon underneath the product, but sometimes you have to go to a website. I will try to remember to list that website below. I'm sure one of you will say to me, what is that website? I want to say it's called Encoder. Uh, with an eye. Um, anyway, something like that. But this is a mist. It's what I love about it. I love that it's a mist. The mist is super fine. So you can wear this on top of your makeup if you want to. As a refresher through the day, it is very refreshing. No fragrance. I, I have, it has a little bit of a vitamin type smell to it, but it doesn't have much about it. They, they also have this Bifida Biome ampl Ampule Toner, which it's boosting and hydrating, it says. Now, why I'm so excited about this is, you see how big this is? We're talking about 16 ounces, I think. I'm, don't quote me on that, but I think it's close to 14, 16 ounces. And I can use this all over my body and it's not very expensive. So if you have that crepey underarm skin, 
all of that you can use it all over slather all over and you're going to benefit all of your skin not just our face or our hands or our neck you get that benefit to all over your body just think that is so great so both of these were a yes for me i also did want to mention this little tool again i mentioned this in uh, gadgets video this month and it didn't get great views so I wanted to make sure I put it in this video too because I love this little guy this is a little massager for my scalp and it's got the little red light therapy here it does have massage that's on it um, inside of the tool itself and then it has these little massager tools which actually it comes with four different ones that you can change out and you can mis do a facial with it if you want to and also comes with heat this is the coolest thing i was really afraid that this little guy was going to get tangled in my hair because i have longer hair but it doesn't there's i've done it a million times to my scalp and no matter what i do unless you're going to really get rough and you know really get it twisted in your hair it's not going to twist in your hair at all i love this it is so calming and relaxing and truly it feels amazing so i wanted to tell you about that again this is what i'm using for my hair loss that i've had recently and i've had a lot of hair loss recently and i really can see a benefit in getting all these new little cool hairs that are coming up in my scalp and then yeah. also this is the gua sha tool that was in that video as well this is not sponsored i purchased all of these with my own money this is a gua sha tool and this doesn't have the curvature that a regular gua sha does, but it does have a little bit of a curvature. And this one has heat. It has a little red light therapy in here, and it does have massage as well. And then you can do your gua sha with it. I love that it has all three. Now, do I think this is the best red light therapy? No, but I love that it has the heat. And I also love that it has the massage because it's bringing all of that blood to the surface, which is what the hair tool does as well. Brings that blood to the surface and the nutrients to the surface so that your skin and your scalp and everything can be its most healthy. So I really do enjoy having that one and I wanted to mention it again give them a try and be very consistent about it and I know for a fact with gua sha you're going to see a big difference in all your right. face. You all know I know that every time I do a favorites video I'm going to bring you one of my favorite purses. This is a hobo bag that I that is kind of a dusty rose color. I got this last year but I remembered it and I brought it out because I think it's a great transitional piece to have going forward into fall. Now, one thing is that this baby is big. It's a really big purse, and I have been kind of trying to get away from huge purses like this, but if I continue to remind myself not to overload it, then I'm just fine with it. I love the black piping detail that they have on here, and then all of the zippers and the buckles, they are all done in gunmetal, and I think that's so pretty. This comes in a ton of colors. And by the way, it does come with this little makeup bag, wristlet, th wristlet thing. Well, this is one of my favorite bags and got carried over, which is a big deal for me because I'm a purse lover, and so I like to give them away to my family, but this is one that I kept just for me. Two products for the hair again, not just the tool, but this is for the hair. So IGK and uh, Color Wow have all of a sudden become my favorite two hair care lines, and they're not cheap, I know, but I'm not somebody that uses a ton of hair products. I usually have my hair pulled up in a bun because I'm always sweating with menopause. So this one right here is called Antisocial. The reason that I was so intrigued by this is this is a spray can that is like the bonding conditioner that Olaplex has that everybody's going gaga for. Great product, by the way. However, if you've seen any of my dupe videos, you know that L'Oreal has a dupe for it, which I'll put down below for you as well. But you, all you have to do with this, you just shake it up, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna just spray this on your ends. By the way, the smell in this is divine, but yes, if you're bothered by fragrance, you're not gonna like this. I love this fragrance, it's really good. So this is Time Release Bond Building Dry Mask. You can wear this anytime. Now, I would say that if you're like me and your hair is pretty fine, don't go hog wild on this, <laughs> be conservative, but you can spray this every day on your hair. I wash my hair like every third day. I never wash it every other day, so it's usually every third day, and I put this on every single day. 
starting at day one. So I really do love this. I think it is really helping my hair be repaired from all the damage and all the fallout. And yeah, I'm really enjoying having that. And I got this one, this can is almost gone. And I think I got this probably seven months ago, maybe eight months ago. So this has lasted a long time. And then also from IGK, this is their new one. This is the pick me up. This is the maximum lift root boost spray. Now you can use this wet or dry. However, if you put it on dry, it's gonna make your hair a little bit, a little bit wet and you're gonna to need to use a blow dryer or something in there. Um, it's got a directed nozzle. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see that. So it's going to go right at the scalp. You're gonna part your hair and you're gonna work that in. And you know, again, you don't wanna to put too much on because too much of a good thing can be a bad thing if you have fine hair. But as far as this being a root lifter and giving you really good volume, for me, it's fantastic. So I will spray this all over my head when my hair is almost completely dry, like it's still got a little bit of dampness to it. Work it in and then flip my head over and dry it a little bit more and then flip it back and then do the little bit of styling with my brush. You will imme immediately see that root lift and it's beautiful and it lasts me at least 24 hours. If I'm, you know, sweating menopause, that whole entire, you know, hot flash situation, obviously my hair is not going to have a lot of volume and a lot of body. If you've been through it, you know what I'm talking about, but it is a really good product to help boost that as much as possible. I also wanted to share with you, I have every single time I'm on camera, I wear these readers and these readers come in a pack of four. They have bling right here and then they have a little design right here. They're very feminine and I love these and they last like crazy. I mean, I can have a pair of these for over a year. Sometimes, you know, if I sit on one or step on one being a goober and that's my bad and it's not the glasses themselves. I love these. I think they're so cute. They're stylish. They come in different colors. So, you know, you get a black and a brown and I think a purple and maybe a red. I can't remember exactly, but I'll make sure I link them down below for you because each time I do get asked where I do get my readers and yeah, they're off of Amazon. Somewhere about two months back, maybe, maybe not that long. All of a sudden there was this glut on the market of all kinds of mascaras. And I did briefly talk about the Benefit Fan Fist mascara that it did not work for me and that it flaked. But this one from KVD Beauty is gorgeous. And this one is called Full Sleeve. I love this mascara. I have worn it and worn it and it does not flake. It's got a nice shape to its wand right there. And it is a silicone bristle brush. I would much rather it be natural bris bristles which I've changed over very recently. Those of you that have been with me a long time, you know that I've never been a fan of natural bristles. I've always loved silicone, but I'm finding as my eyelashes are a little bit more sparse going down the road here that I needed that natural bristle to make them fan out and catch every single one. But this one does a really good job. It is what I have on today and I really have been in love with it. No flaking, yay. No smudging, yay. And so that one has been great for me. I'm trying the, the new Anastasia one too. So I'll let you know about that. And then this one, I'm not sure if I've shown this one to you all or not in the past, but this is the new Falsy Surreal. Um, this is their new mascara for Maybelline. Doesn't it seem like Maybelline and L'Oreal, they come out with a new mascara like every 10 days or something. This one is a natural bristle brush. This one is the waterproof formula. I love the way that this builds up. I wish that I had not bought the waterproof formula. I wish that I just bought the regular. So the next tube of this, and yes, I am repurchasing this, no, no doubt, because I love the way this builds and volumizes my eyelashes. They just look beautiful, almost like a falsy on. And I definitely can recommend this one as far as the waterproof goes, it's really good. It wasn't terribly hard to get off, but you know, Maybelline has that little pink tube that we wore when we were in the eighties of the waterproof mascara and boy, howdy, you put that on and you are getting that stuff, that stuff off for like weeks. And this is not that bad as far as a waterproof goes. 
but I do want to try the one that is the washable so that I can report back to you on whether or not it is a really good one or not. But this one, I've been in love with and I've worn it until I'm ready to get a new tube of it. So Let's talk about this. I was so excited to find these. I have been talking about foundation mix-ins for years. As a matter of fact, down below, I will list my video, my very first video where I talked about that. Had to have been at least four years ago. It was LA Girls products and they are fantastic. They're a matte product. You need such a teeny tiny amount because they're super concentrated. You need such a teeny tiny amount in your foundation to change them. Now, why would you wanna change your foundation? Well, because for me, being the cool gal that I am and that I'm very pale, foundations are almost always too orange, too red, or they are not light enough. So this is what you do. You buy either either color of these. Let me tell you what they are before I take my glasses off. Uh, it's called D-Roll, D-E-R-O-L, and they are Art Galleries Foundation Mixers. I have a blue and I have a white. And the reason that I'm sharing these with you instead of the LA Girl, I still love the LA Girl and I still use them, but these are a thinner formula and they still have that nice pigment to them, but they are a thinner formula. I have been using these quite often and I do love them. What's great about them, look right there, you can see how much that just lightened in my hand, how much my hand looks so much different on that side. It's amazing to me that how much pigment comes out of these in such a small amount. And that's great too, because then you don't have to buy them over and over again. And I like this blue one specifically because it isn't as thick as the LA Girl one. And so as you're mixing it, you can't overdo it. Sometimes when I get into the LA Girl one, if I put too much in there, I'm gonna all of a sudden have a mess because then it's gonna be like, I don't know, like purple foundation that I've mixed with a foundation that's too pink or too red. I do love this. They're great consistencies. And I think that if you've been wanting to experiment, they're not that much money. And so go ahead and try them and experiment with them. They do have a yellow if you're somebody that can never get your foundation to be warm enough for you. I think they have a yellow that you can put into. So this is a great investment and you don't have to throw away that 30 or $40 tube or bottle of foundation just because it wasn't the right color for you. These are great. Also, doesn't this look like makeup forever? I found this palette of blushes. Sometimes when you get these, they're not the quality of the higher brand. Well, I have found that these are the quality and these are so good. I really love these. I think they have great pigmentation and they last. They're a cream. All of these colors are cream. Isn't that great? And so you're able to mix whatever you want to in here. You have some very earthy tones in here as well, but you have those pretty pinks and you have those pretty corals. And my goodness, you get a ton, like 12 blushes, 12 different blush colors in here. And yeah, I've really been enjoying this. I also found, now keep in mind that I did a video earlier this year where I was talking about the fact that I'm a blush junkie. I am so bad. So I also found these blushes. Now, Juvia's Place came out with uh, blushes that are in this form, this um, doe foot applicator form. But when you look at those, I'm getting blush everywhere. When you look at those, you they're $18. I think these might have been 10. They might not even have been that much. Where am I gonna put this? Let's put them up here. So this is a bubblegum pink color. I'll make sure I list all of these below for you. It's hard for me to put my glasses on and off when I'm trying to swatch. And then this one is their coral color or their actually true pink color. And then this one is a bright, bright pink color. These are also pretty and they are so pigmented. Yesterday I used, I think I used this one that's the true pink that I was talking about. And I put like a dab on, like that much right there. And then I used my brush and that's all I needed. And it was so pigmented that I actually had to go back in with the brush I was using for my foundation, kind of make it a little bit more subdued. But these are good, good blushes with a great formula and a great lasting power. And they have a bunch of colors in these as well. So if you're somebody that really likes that liquid formula, uh, right before it goes to cream, because this is a little bit thicker of a liquid formula, this is even a little bit thicker than the ones from Rare Beauty, I feel like. 
and I know that they're thicker than the ones from Juvia's Place, so they have more pigmentation. In my opinion, they do. So love these so, so much. Also this month, I found one of these really cool gadget things. So you have your very unassuming looking Q-tip, right? And you have a line right here. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see that. You have a line right there. You take that Q-tip and you just pop it, okay? What happens is the liquid that is in the tube goes down into the other part of the Q-tip and guess what you get to do then? Then you can clean up any little spills that you happen to get onto your face. You know, if you wanna clean up your eye line right there where it looks like liner, you can. It is just fantastic. I love these little things. Look at that. It's so cool. So you have built in little, like my cellar water in there. It feels like that. Very light. It's not gonna drip or anything like that. It all definitely goes right into that tip. Yeah, I was like, where have I been? I have my head in the sand or something. Love these things. I also wanted okay. to show you a lovely rediscovered lipstick. And I knew I was gonna have people ask me, what lipstick do you have on? This is from Rimmel. And I have not been able to find Rimmel at my Walmart anymore, which makes me very sad. But this one is called Soft Hearted. And it's so, so pretty. I think that this is one of the prettiest ones that they've ever made. Their lipsticks for me are on par with Revlon and Maybelline. I think they're some of the best lipsticks on the market. This one is not too matte, but it's not too creamy. It's that perfect sweet spot in there where it's gonna still show up on your lips and still give you uh, a lot of hydration without being too slippery and it's gonna come off immediately. I just, yeah, this is great. Really, really, really great. And I want to go ahead and get a few more of these. The ones that I used to get are the ones that had the Kate on them and they had all different colors and whatnot. And I love those colors, but they don't have those anymore, but they do have some that I've used for years and was able to repurchase and definitely wanted to bring that to you because I knew everybody was gonna go, oh, you have dark lipstick on today. So I wanted to make sure I showed it to you. All right, let's take a minute and I will show you the outfit of the day. Okay, so you've been seeing the top all the way through the video. This has got lace sleeves and it has kind of a double ruffle on it, really cute. And then it does come down and skim right at the hip line. The, this is really cute tucked in or have it out. You could wear this with a skirt because it's a little bit more dressy and you can wear it with jeans just to dress it down a little bit. I really love this. And then these are just a pair of my favorite jeans that are skinny jeans. I wear skinny jeans. Everybody is like, no, you can't wear skinny jeans anymore. I am probably going to wear skinny jeans till the day I die. Either that or a pair of leggings I'm gonna be in. But I love that these are so stretchy around the waist and they're stretchy all the way through the whole jean. And I would tell you that you might want to size down, unless you're really a, um, a lot bigger through the belly, you might want to size down, because I think I did size down. I'm usually a 12, and these were 10s, which is a nice feeling, but that wasn't done because I actually fit in a 12. That was done because the jeans are a little bit stretchy and a little bit bigger, but they don't stretch out as far as losing their shape. And I've washed and dried these a million times and I just love them. And they are, you know, they've got cute back pockets and then they've got the pockets up here in the front. So they are a five pocket jean. And yeah, I just really think they're fun and cute and they go with just about everything because of the wash that they are. Okay, let's take a peek at this jewelry. This is a gold chain that has some little rhinestones in here with a silver look to it right through here. And I just like the way that it lays. I've always loved this necklace. I wear it over and over again on camera. And then I also have a pair of new earrings, which are really cute because they have this front little swirl, gold swirl right here that attaches, but the jacket on the back of it is a little crystal on the end with a chain. So you have the front part of the earring and then you have the back part as well. If you were wondering how those were attaching as I was talking today, that is them. So that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I do love having you. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you take a second, just smash that subscribe button. That helps me so much. And we would love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. It's exciting for me to have new people here, but also I want to take a second and tell my longtime subscribers 
how much I love you and I do appreciate you and you all you just make me feel so good because your concern is real and please know that when you start telling me about your lives as well my concern for you is real i think that comes with age don't you we want to see each other succeed and we want to see each other do great things just women building other women up and i think that's fantastic for us all to remember so thanks guys for being with me please tell me what you thought about all of these fun products or if you tried anything last month that you just fell in love with i'd love to hear that from you too i hope you come around in my next video and we'll be together very soon love you much bye bye <music>